Okay. And what exactly were their response to that? Uh, actually, they did not have a response at all. They have a default judgment because they never responded to my affidavits. And then when I brought it up to the judge in court, she told me that they were overruled. And But once, once jurisdiction is challenged, it has to be decided. You can't over. Okay. Re the research that I've done says that you can't, once jurisdiction is challenged, you just can't throw it away like that and sweep it under the rug. It has to be decided. Okay. When you, when you, okay. So you, you're, 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 you're doing a lot of research on things. So let me, let me tell you this. I'm not going to say, let me yes, help sir. you understand. I'm going to say, let me tell you this. You, yes, only, you only challenge, jurisdiction should only be challenged at the origins of the situation, not halfway through. Oh. Okay, I got you, Jewish. I'm, and I'm making notes, so Chris just said, can yeah. I call you Chris? Yeah, yeah, sure. Should only be should only be challenged on the onset. Yeah, you cannot challenge the jurisdiction after something is already in motion. That's why we say we file a motion when something is already okay. in motion. Can't do that. All right. So when you when you when you when you when you, when you introduce yourself to the courts as representing yourself. There's a term that they like to say, when in Rome, do as the Romans. You can, you, can, you can have a better dialogue with the courts when you deal with them on a dialogue in which they use. Um, but when you, when, and, and it all starts with, you, you said that we have joint custody. I was so glad you had that terminology correct. Then you said, but she has more time. Now, what would be preventing you from getting equal time? I've been trying to get equal time, but she's she blocks it because she knows if she loses equal time, she can't get her. She won't get a check. So anything that she can do to keep me from getting equal time, she'll do it. You know, she'll manipulate my son and, you know, do everything she can to keep her check coming. Well, that's that's all part of the unfortunate games that these individuals play. Like I said in my video the other day, um, I've never seen a smart woman. Um, and this, it, I've never seen one. They they are real smart at being dumb. So you're you're only helping that narrative to that video, nonetheless. So you you okay? So help me out. You put in a, 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 you you summons the court that you want equal joint physical and uh, equal physical custody. You and, and they say what to you? What do they say? Not what she say. What do they say? Well, I, I haven't done that because I did that with, when I had a lawyer before and, you know, she'll say, OK, well, my son, he just wants to come over a couple of days a week and she'll she'll try to manipulate him into doing, you know, exactly. OK, I just want to come over a couple of days a week. All right. So let, let, let's go. Let's go this way with it. Um, that's you. You, you <laughs> when, whenever I talk to somebody and they are using another source. If, if in fact you hired me to help you, you're, you're unfortunately the worst people to deal with because you believe this one thing that somebody told you and me as a person that went to school for law, I learned that I cannot beat family court with that's my child. I love my child that they're not, not trying to hear that. That's not the game they're playing. The way you beat the courts is you play the game that they're playing. So let's go let's 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 go at it this way let's wipe away all the things you've ever done Let, let's start let's let's just say me and you was uh, we, we ran into each other on a bus and you know how it always it's always those strangers that tell you something and it, you get a light bulb moment so so let's just let's go at it like this so your child's mother meaning this the child in question is a son right you're a man and so you you put in for custody and she she okay so let me tell you this there's no I want to tell you. go ahead go ahead sir yeah there are no there are no stats for she if you want to start winning i would take the direction of getting all the stats in your favor of son to father and take that approach because me personally, there will there have never been a well. She stopped because she don't mean nothing to me. When I go, when I all the times that I went to court, I was talking to the judge, and I helped the judge understand 
the game that we're not playing is we're not playing this, you okay. know, you, you're not getting it because she said, because there's no she law. There's none of that. We're in court. We're going to base everything by best interest of the child. And of course, she is going to say everything. The child is going to be coached, coerced. We know that. But if I go into court, as I did with when my child's mom tried to move back to New Jersey and I went in there with the stats as to why we moved to Pennsylvania in the first place and the crime statistics back where she wants to live, that's how I won. So if you if you if you want to start winning, I would cancel all that all caps. I, I don't I don't I, I, I hear people talking that. Me personally, I know that the law, every law can be beat. It's the, your challenge of approach is where you're going to get your loss. If you decide to challenge it on straw man law, if you're going to try to commercial, challenge commercial law on straw man law, then they're going to treat you as not understanding. It's, it's like I tell individuals, if me and you are shooting pool, and I say, I'll make it on out of here, man. I'm going to hop this ball over there off the cushion, bang shot in the corner. Game time. I can't take that logic in a courtroom. When you go into a courtroom, especially when you represent yourself, you have to go in there and literally choke them into saying, this is what the stats say. This was say, blah, 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 blah. Of course, a mother's going to say this. This is what I want. If you can't give it to me, I need a written explanation as to why. Don't tell me don't grab the microphone, tilt the microphone down and tell me, put everything as to the reason why on paper. And then I will challenge it in federal court because what you're saying, you're not listening to stats, you're not listening to anything. You are just keeping this thing going. Now we can add what you said because a woman wants some money. That's how I do it. That's the best way to do it. That's honestly, it's, it's loseless antics. I, it, you can't lose that way. You will lose when you go in and you say all this stuff and they looking at you like, oh, we got one of them. That's all they're going to say. My dad told me not. I learned that law and my dad told me do not take that into my dad. Although he wasn't a lawyer, he all his friends were attorneys. If my dad had 80 friends, 76 of them were attorneys. That's how we got all the lawsuits and stuff that we got because my dad was very, um, and that's why I went to school for law because I learned from my dad. When you learn the law, when you learn how they, when you understand the rules that they are using and you apply them with intellect, their losses will start tallying up. Okay, so run that past me again, Chris. When you say challenge what? I would challenge... The, the stats you're right now from what you said you're being defeated by well she don't excuse me excuse me you're being defeated by well she don't want because she 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 you're not you're not challenging she you're challenging the courts now if you if you want the time you want find the stats that support a child is better off at this, especially at this age, a black son at that with his father, more time with his father. These are the stats to support that as a single mom. Think about a, a, a child, even if that child came in and said, I want to be with my mama. That is the be that is music to your ears, because there's no statistical stat out there that says a boy is better off being taught by his mother. There isn't one. Everything that they say, you should use against them. There, they, there, there's nothing that proves that nowhere. There's no stat that proves a child is a son is better taught by the mom. So if that's what you want, because you said the reason why is because she's she's not giving me. I've never in my life went to court in the challenge of Teal or Sean Bradley. I've always went to court, knew I was challenging the court. I was challenging challenging the judge. So if you switch your mindset to say. Oh, if, if she go to court, because the, the, what they say is anything you say can and will be used against you. I took everything Atiyah LaShawn Bradley said in court and used it against her to the point where she came to court and damn near put duct tape on her own mouth. 
She knew she was just coming in there just to walk into a bud saw. She didn't come there to do that dumb shit that women do. And I and, and when the courts, when the courts decide that they want to go ahead and run off the intellect of a woman, well, that's not what the Constitution says. So me, I would start saying with I want equal joint and physical custody. Equal. Because my son needs to be under the influence of his father more than anything. If the courts cannot find, if the courts don't think so, you need to tell me in writing and please support the stat that says that a son is better off with his mother than with his father. Period. And I wouldn't even go to court and talk. I would go to court biting my nails, just looking at, I would not, I would let them fight that themselves. If you can't tell me why, I'll see you in federal court and you can explain to a federal judge why this woman came in here talking all this nonsense like, oh, no, a woman coercing a kid never happens. Oh, no. Uh -uh, no, but I just I'm just the worst man in the world. I don't even need to go to court. I just need to put this in an affidavit. and send it. Exactly. I wouldn't. I would put in nonverbal hearing. I will put nonverbal hearing at the end of that and just go to court and sit down there and bring a little Pac-Man game or something and be playing the game. Turn the volume off and be playing a little Pac-Man game and let them fight with that nonsense. You go to court, you put in your paperwork everything that you ask for and say, if you cannot su support these documents, this is what I want. Explain to me in detail why you're not giving it to me. Explain to me in detail. But when you go in there and you take... Uh, you know, straw man law that that, that that used to work 10, 10 to 12 years ago. Now it's, we don't know what you're talking about. I, explain. I, I've seen it. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. Please. Uh, what, you're in New Jersey, right? No, I'm in Virginia. Okay. And uh, so what services can you offer, if any? The services that we offer is what we do is we coach you. We're advocates. So let's just say you want to go to court for X, Y, Z. What we would do is we would draft up the paper and it, it, we put our company name on it. And what we do is we'll say on a paper, let's just say you you hired us and you want uh, you want. Uh, you're, you're not getting overnights, right? I just did a video on overnights. You're, you're not getting overnights. So what we do is we'll say, Mr. Nims, and 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 uh, and complete and uh, in summary of the conversation that we had based on overnights, you need to go back to court. This is going to be on paper now. We, we go back to court and ex have the courts explain to you in detail why there's no law stating that a man can't have overnights. Uh, it's amazing how the child used to live there at that house, but now the mother moves out. Now the house isn't sufficient. And we put that on paper, right? Now what you would do is you would take that paper and however they they do court where you're at, you would say, I want an explanation as to why I'm not getting overnights. See attached. And that attachment We'll do all the talking for you, number one. Number two, the attachment will show individuals you're working with an advocacy group. And the one thing courts don't want to deal with is an advocacy group. They will deal with you. They will deal with an attorney. They don't want to deal with advocacy groups. The reason why they don't want to deal with advocacy groups is because they know that, they're number one, they're being watched. Number two, you're being influenced. So you're not under the tutelage of some emotional words, et cetera, et cetera. You're coming in there saying, I'm being guided by a, by an organization that knows what to say, how to say it, and you will oblige. So that's how and, we help. And, and, Go ahead. And, and additionally, at the bottom of that paper, does it say potentially, you know, with the you know the federal court comments? No. Oh, you're saying yeah. We 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 put that on all our paperwork. If they can't, then what what's going what what should happen is if they cannot tell you why, then they, they, they should. What, what, what should happen is they will be, ha, they will be, and have to explain it to a federal judge as to why they're incompetent to answer any and all questions that you're asking them. That, that's one of the things you cannot be incompetent. If a person come to court and say, 
I need you to explain this to me in detail why. I had an individual that we that took we we started hiring last week. Dude, dude was told, well, the, by a, 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 a caseworker for for crying out loud, a hearing officer. I said, I said, you you didn't go before a judge, did you? No, I, I kind of knew that. I said, so he says, well, the hearing officer said. The hearing officer said that we don't give overnights until the child is a year old because the mother is breastfeeding. I said, what the, f I I'm saying to myself, what idiot would accept that this, 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 this bullshit. But that's what individuals told. Now, when he hired us, what we sent them was from this point on, don't deal with hearing officers. They are the worst. As a matter of fact, the hearing officer could have been a janitor yesterday. They don't have any, any, they're not required to have any legal schooling. That's number one. Number two, a hearing officer gives uh, uh, recommendations. You're not going to court for a recommendation. You're going for resolution. From this point on, judges only, only. And that's how it goes. So that's how we help people. We help help the courts understand, oh, oh, he's being influenced by somebody else. And they now the woman, uh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm going to say this then. And I hope that answers the question, but I'm going to say this. I remember when I, I started talking to the courts. I don't know if you've seen the video where I said this, but I sent my child's mom a text message. And then that text message, I told her. This is my arena now. We went to court the day I sent that to her the day before we went to court. I said, this is my arena now. And the reason why it was my arena, because I was talking to the courts before we got there. And I, I, they sent me a, 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 a summons to come to court for child support modification. However, it didn't say up or down because it didn't say up or down. I don't know how to prepare. So when I got there, I got into an argument with a hearing officer. But, but one thing that Attila Sean Bradley said that I knew they talk before the court date, the mother talks to him. So we walk in, they called us Smith versus Bradley. And we walked in there and Attila Sean Bradley said, he's going to say he wasn't served. I said, wow, how did she know that? So me and a caseworker, we the hearing officer, I knew she was nervous because she just kept turning the page. I'm looking at her like she ain't even looking down. She just turned the page. Are, are you, you put in for, I said, who are you talking to? Did, she threw me out of courtroom. I said, yeah, you better throw me out the courtroom. The, the bailiff was like, all right, come on, come on, come on. All right. Nonetheless, when we left the court and I won, I texted her and said, I told you because I know number one, who I'm fighting Number two, when they know you're educated, they rather adhere to your educational status than allow this woman to win. They're going to play dumb so the woman can win. But when they're in a situation where they know we can't play dumb, nope, we can't play dumb. This individual here is being educated. He's, he's, he has an outside source. And that's how you start winning. Now, I'm going to tell you something. The reason why I asked you earlier, when you put in them, 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 them some, you, you petitioned the court and they did not answer you is because you was not talking and using court terminology. So I'm, 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 I'm going to be honest with you to tell you that I would like every and everybody to fight the courts based on the curriculum that they use. If they're doing you wrong, it shouldn't be a problem. You copy that? Yes, sir. I'm just okay. listening. That's okay. why I'm quiet. Oh no. Okay. No, that's what I'm, I, I, I'm done. I'm done. That's what I said. Just, just always use the curriculum that they use. Always. When you, when if you're, if you're intelligent, then you're taking your emotions out of it, and you use the curriculum that they use. You will win. You will always win. And I'm on. A, how, how many? How many cases have you had? Have who had? Your agency for wow. coaching. Wow. Wow. Uh, okay, so you you how how long how many of my videos have you actually seen? I'm just curious. 
Well, I've seen quite a few. I've seen them, and then I notice they they try to get rid of you, then you pop up somewhere else. Exactly. Well, I, I've 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 been at this for over twenty years. I helped over two hundred thousand individuals. Wow. Wow. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Being okay, I'm in Kentucky. You're in Virginia. Uh, your advocacy group. What coaching and and drafting a document. So. What is it? What is everything going to entail? Okay, um, we're like, as you just said, coaching. So, um, you, 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 you get a piece of paper. You get a you get a, a, a summons and, and, and I, I'm ready. To, I'm gonna lay it out for you. You get a summons in the mail. Your child's mom, my ex-wife says, has an attorney, and that attorney says, we want three years of bank statements. We don't know what you're getting. You get, you open a letter up and then you say, wow, you give us a call. Mr. Nams, I actually, I got a, got a, I got a situation in court today. What does it say? X, Y, Z, Z. Now we're going to tell you how to proceed the correct way. And that is where your victories are at. So you'll say, so what should I do? Once again, then what we do is we put, it's like we, it's like you, you, you heard the term, uh, uh, hide your hand. You heard that term before? Yeah. Okay. We make sure everybody understand your hand. You, you, you got to understand this whole thing is psychological more than anything. If, 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 if why do you think until, like I said to you, my child's mom came in court and said, he's going to say he was improperly served. And yes, I was improperly served. I got a piece of paper telling me to come to court saying it was a modification for child support. But there are various modifications. And I'm smart enough to know you got to be specific. So if she said, why do you think she said that? She said that because now I'm supposed to say, oh, I'm not going to say that now because they already know. No, the way I said it, I say it with authority. The way I said it, I said it with conviction. The way I said it, I shove it down your fucking throat. I'm not here to play with you. And I'm going to do it playing your rules. I'm going to I'm a, I'm a fuck you up playing your rules. Because the one thing I know is the rules. So, you may not realize it. But if they send you something and we then you say, hey, listen, Mr. Nems, uh, appreciate you reaching out to us, explaining to us your situation about your, your your tax documents. And we say, well, what we know that is X, Y, Z, blah, 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 blah. And then guess what? They're now understanding that everything that they ask you and try to get from you, you're going to talk to us and we're going to put on paper a brief summary of what you told us how how it doesn't sound right how no they i don't know them to do that etc cetera, etc cetera. and then when you respond to that you always attach what we say because we're not attorneys so we cannot go into court with you but the next best thing is you adhering to our curriculum and moving as we tell you now they know oh yeah we they, they whoever these guys are they're they, they know all the tricks. And that's how it go. And, and simply, I would just simply say to you, I, I will tell you up front, if, if you get a summons, you know, have you ever got paperwork asking you for your court uh, bank statements? Uh, no, when I had an attorney, I had to give them my taxes. Oh, wow. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. okay. Got a question for you. So how did they ask mm -hmm. you, how did they ask you for your taxes? How they ask you? Did they? I don't. I don't remember. This was a couple. This was a while ago, a while back. Wow. Okay. But yeah. But yeah, man. It's uh, it's very crooked, man. So, oh, hold on, hold on. Did they did they subpoena you for them though? No. Okay. But you gave them to them without being subpoenaed for it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We we don't do that. Whatever you want from us, you subpoena us. You don't send me an email. You don't put it on paper. The correct thing is a subpoena. That's how everything is done. Okay. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, I, I make sure 
individuals understand that. Now, let me ask you a question. Can I subpoena the judge's oath of office? Well, you, you don't have to do that. You can call the ethics committee. You don't, you don't got to go there. That's public record. Why would you do that to the judge? Called the Ethics Committee, and that's uh, found in the state. Yeah. Or the county ethics. Committee? No, 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 no. Your state. Your state. Yeah. Wherever your your uh, what city? Where are you? Where are you at? I'm in uh, in Kentucky. Kentucky. Okay. Is Louisville your state capital? Uh, no. Uh, oh, okay. Frankfurt is. <laughs> okay. I just thought maybe I got lucky with the bats. Um. <laughs> but okay. Yeah. You just you ain't got a. Yeah, they, they, they're they public servants, man. You ain't ever got to subpoena somebody to work for the public. Okay. Yeah, that's public record. Call the ethics committee on the judge and through the secretary of state. Yeah, just say, hey, listen, I, I, I don't know why it would be different from any other judges. Their oath of office, uh, it wouldn't be. The only thing to be different is their, their name, you know. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what's it going? What does it cost, Chris? Uh, it's four ninety. It's three ninety nine for ninety days. Every ninety days is three ninety nine. Every ninety days is three ninety nine. Every ninety days. Okay. So I got a court hearing coming up next month on on March eighth. Mm -hmm. So for ninety days. Um, and, and let me ask you, what percentage of people's shit gets closed in 90 days? When you you said what percentage of people's stuff get closed? When you say closed, yeah. what 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 is closed? Closed means uh, they get what they're after, whether they're trying to get a particular okay. action. Okay, let me answer. I got you. I got you. I got you. So let let me. I'm I'm a I'm a break something down to you like this. When individuals hire us. You use our protocol. You don't use yours anymore. And the best way possible is is this. So let me let me let me explain something to you like this. Let's just say you got five things, five things on a, on a, on a docket. Not not everybody have five. I want to just go a high number. Most pers people have two, maybe three issues, right? Two, maybe three the best way of approach is one situation at a time. A victory is not, if your ultimate victory is closing something, there are 20 things that need to happen before it gets to that. The steps that need to get to that, that should not be overlooked. That should be counted as victories as well. I, I am not and never will allow a client to dictate how we move. You hired us is how the best way to move period. So if your one thing is to, oh, I want this closed in 90 days. It's the reason why we do 90 days. You could have something done in 90 days or you could have something to take longer. But I don't know your court. I, I don't know how your court rolled. I don't know their backlog. I don't know anything about that. So I help everybody okay. understand up front. I, I'm, I'm not doing that. No, it never, it never okay. will. Yeah. No, won't, won't, won't. My next question is, uh, what is your, what, what can I, now you said, uh, you'll never let anybody else to dictate your protocol. Mm -hmm. So what is your protocol? What can I expect okay. for each, each 90 day? The protocol is the, 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 the most optimal way to do it. Simple. A lot of individuals, like, 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 like what you just said, L look at all what you want. You want child support closed, but look what, look at all you did as opposed to just simply going to court saying, I want equal time with my son. He's 13 and my son. You you didn't do that. And people don't. It, it's understandable. Everybody has an entry level of how they dealt with this. Everybody. We all did. So you, well, what I'm asking, what I'm asking is uh, like some some definitive things, like for the as far as the protocol goes, what can I okay. expect over 90 days? Am, okay. I, am I getting phone calls? Am I getting documents prepared? Am I getting, just, are you just going to be sending me shit to read and nobody's talking to me or answering questions? Or am I just talking to somebody through email? Those are my questions. No, well, th that, that, that's what you're saying now, but th your initial question didn't sound anything like that. It, 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 it sounds like you're, and, and I get it. 
You, it sounds like you want to start on Tuesday and have everything wrapped up on Friday. And I'm telling you, no, 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 no. no. I know, I know. There's not. It's not a quick thing. But what I'm, well, yeah. What I'm asking again, like modes of contact. You know, what no, no. I, 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 I got that. I, I, I was answering that, but I, I, as I started saying, it didn't sound like that's what you were saying at first. So, when you, when you hire any advocacy group, I would like to think that when you hire an advocacy group, there's a level of passion. It's not like a service of you go to the store and you, you a waitress advocacy groups normally are full of people that went through the same situation and they have success in it. They got a lot of things going on. So we take on the same protocol as every advocacy group. Candy Leitner, who started America's Most uh, uh, Amer uh, Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Uh, John Walsh, when you see the passion uh, that he provides when uh, to catch a criminal, America's Most Wanted, et cetera, et cetera. You're talking to somebody that's been through it. So when you when you ask me personally, you're going to get the passion of knowing what's going on, the hatred that I have for it, and the end game, <laughs> the dealing with somebody who has the end game. The certain, the same as it, that that you want, and have a, a, a certain uh, knowing that you, you're getting fucked. You, you're getting fucked, and you shouldn't be. And a person or organization that hates every step of the process. I hate attorneys. We hate attorneys. We don't like attorneys. When I when I when somebody hire us, they got an attorney. My goal is to help them understand just how fucked up their attorney are, so they can fire them. So a clear cut case of let's just do this. Nope, that's not important right now. There's steps to this. That step doesn't mean anything. You know what? If you do it this way, these three steps are going to disappear. So that, that's, that's what it's about. It's, it's, it's like you're hiring in an agent, a management company. And mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I don't, any, anybody that would tell you this is going to happen, et cetera, et cetera, don't know it. The opposition is going to do to even dictate to you how the response they're they're, they're like okay. okay go ahead let me ask you okay my next question uh let's say um i we were to begin uh, a uh, uh a, a working relationship i've got a court date coming up march 8th is there anything that could be done i don't know your backlog or how quickly you would be able to even look at my what what, my what, what you, yeah yeah we, we can help you i i i don't it's it's not i i think i think you're 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 i'm 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 feeling your 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 stern perspective of you know you know you hire somebody and it's it's just this certain idea of, of the way it is. And, and I get that. I'm, I'm not saying you shouldn't. You're, 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 you're supposed to think that. Um, but if, if honestly, if, you, if, if I couldn't help you, I, I wouldn't be talking to you. It's, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking you are on the assumption that you will hire us and then you're it's, it's a whatever thing you, you, you're going to be put on a back burner or something and, and that's that's not how it goes but once again um we are passionate about what we do there's certain things that we don't do um we don't help everybody to call us we had an individual two days ago that i, I can't help the dude there's no way i'm going to help him no way i'm tell you i i I'm actually putting some of the conversation up on our patreon but is a person that is not in touch with reality. I like to help fathers. I, I don't help child support payers. We we don't. So next month, you know, the Mar March seventh or whatever. Yeah, I I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's 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 not helping somebody is not three and four hours. It's that's what you need. Got you. All right, we'll do this. Just follow those steps. You'll be cool. Not this whole big thing because it's, it's, it's not what you think it is. You, you only think it is probably because you, you, you went about it the way you went about it and the success of how you got the success of what you got just, pro just wasn't it. So that just know that. 
It's 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 not what you think it is. It's you you, you when, when, when when individuals hire us, we always do is say let's sit back and now let's have some fun, cause you're stressing. I get all that. Been there. Uh, how is a three ninety nine pay? Can it be broken up, or does it? How is it over the ninety days, or is it just? Yeah, it need one one payment. It can be paid via Venmo or Cash App. Venmo or Cash App. Uh, any references? Uh, call call the Nork Family Court, 212 Washington Street, and ask to speak to either Judge Sally Floriano, Judge James Triano, or their... Or their, uh, their hold, hold, on, hold on, Chris. I'm writing it down. You said the, the Newark yeah. Uh, Courthouse? Yeah. Newark, New Jersey. And... and Newark, New Jersey. Okay, I got that. And uh, you said ask for who? Judge, ask to, to speak to the secretary for Judge Sally Floriana. Sally, hold on one sec. Floriana? Yeah. Okay. Our, 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 her name should be Elizabeth. I don't remember her last name, but she works in a, for the secretary for the, for the family courts. Just okay. ask, ask for either one of them. And just say, hey, Chris Smith of the League of Dads is asking for a reference. Yeah. All right. Um, cash App or Venmo only, three ninety nine dollars last 90 days. Um, but it's no, like I said, it's no like, okay, well, you get this much time, you know, each week or this month is none of that. You, so you just, you pay three ninety nine and whatever documents or whatever contacts you think are, are necessary. That's what you get. No, no, it, it's not what I think is necessary. It's, it's what the client needs. It's not, it's not a, you, you don't have a, I think you're looking for me to say you have a conversation cap. You, you don't. You don't have a conversation, Cap. Okay. You you get something, you something pop in your mind, you give us a call. Okay. Uh, what kind of uh, will you need any documentation from me? Like yeah. uh, you need a yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. All right. Okay. Um. All right. All right, Chris. Uh, you got any questions for me? Am I somebody that you think you'd like to take on as a client? I I I. It, it's not. It's not personal, so you you need help. So we're here to help. <laughs> I, I don't know what you want me to say, but yeah, we. Okay, we're, well, I, yeah, look, that's yeah. a, hey, I, I sense your passion, yeah. and I and I appreciate that, man. To be honest with you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. I just I want somebody who's gonna fight, help me fight for myself, and, and you know, really, and not not these these shady ass lawyers, or you know, the judges and attorneys and. You know. Well, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna just tell you, I'm gonna just tell you this. When we're hired, uh, we we would like everybody to forget about yesterday. When you start with us, you start with us. Yesterday is the reason why you decided you wanted to use our services because yesterday didn't work for you. So just take heed to that. All right, Chris. Well, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna sign up for Venmo, and uh, we'll we'll begin this uh, process, sir. Okay. All right. Just uh, send, I'm a I'm gonna program your name in, so I, I'll because this the phone gets about 200 text messages a day. So when I make contact oh, with somebody, I, I um I program I the name. In. Yeah. So you're gonna have to program it. You're gonna have to. When you're ready, just text me and tell me everything all over again, because I'm gonna. That's how it is. All right. Okay, oh, well, that, that, that's no problem. Because it's uh, it's gonna take me a minute to get them set up and all that, so it may be sometime this weekend. Okay. So, um, but I I really appreciate it, and um, yeah, yeah, we, we'll uh, we'll uh, we gonna I'll get you paid and <laughs> we'll get this thing started. Okay, my man. If we can. Uh, get it worked out okay my man hey listen uh no listen um i i don't i don't i don't offend i don't get offended at all ever um i have had 
I have had individuals tell me, man, I don't, I don't fucking want to do it like that. And I just listen to them. And I say, you finish? Okay, okay. So here's how we going to do it, you know. I just, uh, listen, I've been down that road. Um, I don't believe in hope. I, I don't sell hope. I, fuck hope. It's getting everybody to understand two things. You're not to be played with. And two, we're done with the smoke and mirrors. Save the smoke and mirrors for the next one. There are no laws governing family court. I'm going to say that over and over again. There are no laws governing family court. To say a woman has the child and you can't is unconstitutional. So what is stopping you from getting equal? And then child support is the law that is the after effect that once you get, they get custody, now the law can come after you and say, well, you should be paying. Well, guess what? There's no law governing saying that I should put myself in a position, but there's a law that governs me once I'm in the position. That don't make no sense. And people don't look at it like that. So, well, uh, look, I, uh, I look at it like that and, and I'm just trying to fix it. You know, I've got great kids and my and, and my ex-wife, man, has ruined her life, man. All the nastiness that she's caused and created over the years. Uh, it looked like if if you saw her when she first started, matter of fact, when in the court after she started all that stuff, she had to come using a walker because she had a stroke. Good. Then after she then she healed up from a stroke. You look at her now. She she's an engineer for Toyota and she thinks she's hot shit. Good. She did. She did a couple couple years ago. She had that band put on her stomach where she could lose weight. Mm -hmm. Then the uh, acid in her throat was burning her esophagus out. Now she looked like she got AIDS. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, 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 I, I like women like that, that, that think that they're bad. The, now, here's, here's what your job is to do. This is your job. Your job is to make court unattractive for her. The, the problem and the reason as to why millions and millions and millions of men get faced with threats. I just put a video up today, threatened. Threatened, she threatened you to go to court, take you to court. And I said in the video I just did today, uh, when I was riding to the office this morning, I don't understand why y'all scared. I, I really don't. Nonetheless... Um, um, you have to, it's up to the man to make it uncomfortable for the woman to go to court. That's all up to the man. If the man want to sit up there and allow a woman to say every other week, I'm going to threaten you, this and that, I'm going to threaten you. That's on the man. You have to change that. And the way you change it is you start taking them to court based on issues that her input has no effect on. None. So, uh, do what you got to do, my man, and I will be talking to you. All right, man. I appreciate it, and I'll be in touch. I'll be shooting you a text sometime this weekend, man. Let you know everything's done. Okay, my man. You have a good one. Thank you. Yep. Bye bye. Bye.
Okay, everybody. Let's take one too.